have business in New York on occasion. I only ask because I ordered a package from France and it's long overdue. I've written a postmaster and he's yet to respond. I thought you could inquire in person if you had the chance. I will pass by the next time I am there. Get through us first. We Connor, there you are. They're coming, David. We need to be ready. Who is coming? Redcoats. David's to be tried for treason. They executed more than likely. Connor, glad you're here. I want to show you something. Just building an ambush in the event we need it. I'll likely have numbers at least two to one. I'm sorry for bringing this violence on the village. We protect our own. The British will not risk losing more soldiers for one deserter. You are free of it now. Selection of fresh pickles. I need help. I have come to inquire on a package arriving from France on behalf of Lance O'Donnell. 
was picked up and signed for by his apprentice a couple of days back, Patrick O'Hara. Patrick O'Hara is Mr. O'Donnell's former apprentice. Would you happen to know where he is? Sure. He's been hanging around the docks the last few days. Should be around the way. Here. Take these pages and hide them. Don't let that guy get his hands on them. I have your plans. What are they for? You got them! This, Connor, is the design for a chair that folds. Genius! You won't regret this. Great timing. I was just getting underway on something that might be of interest to you. What is that? Those plans you retrieved for me. And believe you me, they were worth all the fuss. A folding chair. I do not follow you. It's a chair that folds, Connor. You can fold it right up and stack them. Store them! Transport them! I could have a thousand chairs in my back room. It's simple brilliance, and I am going to make a fortune. A folding chair. Hmm. Well, I wish you the best with it. You'll see, Connor. You'll see!
Connor. I'm so glad you're here. The plans I bought, they weren't just a folding chair. Oh, no. They had something else with them. Something quite astonishing. A flying machine designed by Leonardo da Vinci himself. And I've built it. <laughs> you can be the first to try it if you like. You'll be able to fly. Soar like an eagle. And it works? Da Vinci was one of the greatest minds in human history. As brilliant a man as there has ever been. You can be certain it works. Would you like to try? Yes. Such a device would certainly prove useful. to know what the loyalists are planning if we're to put an end to this i've tried but the soldiers themselves are told nothing now only to await orders from above then keep digging come find me when you have something worth sharing mm, we're so close to victory a few more well-placed attacks and we'll be able to put an end to the civil war and be rid of the crown what do you intend well nothing at the moment since we're completely in the dark i thought the templars had eyes and ears everywhere oh we did until you started cutting them off. Your contact said orders from above. It tells us exactly what we need to do. Track down the Loyalist commanders. Have you considered the proposal? I'm unconvinced. To reinforce them would leave New York exposed. It's hard enough maintaining order with our current numbers. Cut in half. Yet if we do not join with them, they risk defeat. And then what? Well, they should have come by sea. Well, they're talking in circles. Well, they're nothing watching as we are. Then what do you propose we do? March in there and demand answers? Well, yes. Connor? It'll help here. Leave the commanders alive, Connor. We can interrogate them. Thank <laughs> you. 
Bring them back to my quarters at Fort George and see what secrets they might share. <sighs> really? Well, you'd best get after him then. You go. I will watch the prisoners. No, you do it. Why me? Because I said so. Now go. I'll tell you anything you want. Anything. Only don't make me We just me have some there. questions for you. Cross that threshold, and I'm a dead man. There you are, Connor. I was worried you might have gotten lost. Come along, then. What are the British planning? To march from Philadelphia. That city's finished. New York's the key. They'll double our numbers, push back the rebels. When do they begin? Two days from now. June 18th. I must warn Washington. You see? That wasn't so very difficult now, was it? I I've told you everything. N now let me go. Of course. You said the same, it must be true. You killed him. You killed all of them, why? They'd have warned the Loyalists. You could have held them until the fight was done. What? And waste precious time and money on their care? What would be the point? They'd given up everything they knew. I'll meet you at Valley Forge.
Should be sharing what we know with Lee, not Washington. You seem to think I favor him, but my enemy is a notion, not a nation. It is wrong to compel obedience, whether to the British crown or the Templar cross. And I hope in time the loyalists will see this too, for they are also victims. You oppose tyranny, injustice. These are just symptoms. Their true cause is human weakness. Why do you think I keep on trying to show you the error of your way? You have said much, yes, but you have shown me nothing. And we'll have to remedy that then, won't we? Sir. Hello, Connor. What brings you here? The British have recalled their men in Philadelphia. They march for New York. Very well. I'll move our forces to Monmouth. If we can rout them, we'll have finally turned the tide. And what's this? Private correspondence. Oh, of course it is. Would you like to know what it says, Connor? It seems your good friend here has just ordered an attack on your village. Although attack might be putting it mildly. Well, tell him, Commander. We've been receiving reports of Allied natives working with the British. I've asked my men to put a stop to it. By burning their villages and salting the land, by calling for their extermination, according to this letter. Not the first time, either. Tell them what you did 14 years ago. That was another time. The Seven Years' War. And so now you see what happens to this great man when under duress. He makes excuses, displaces blame, does a great many things, in fact, except take responsibility! Enough! Who did what and why must wait. My people come first. Then let's be off. No. You and I are finished. Son. Do you think me so soft? that by calling me son, I might change my mind. How long did you sit on this information, or am I to believe you discovered it now? 
My mother's blood may stain another's hands, but Charles Lee is no less a monster, and all he does, he does by your command. A warning to you both. Choose to follow me or oppose me, and I will kill you. should make sure the village is safe. Radun hagedu za shewe next ti ohnu jera wa kanu tunyu we do got ti ko oya rungwe aye zene sege nka giga oya rungwe de ohne gujes charles lee luana tu ko ya sago ya to hawe kanu do gu dano do kala ni hadi na hoda ka nu we ni hone nu wa de sago di dashtana ti ni hadi ayun ki hunta Yeah, yeah, that's curry for you, Eddie. On a day, don't you days at me go, Hare? Yeah, go and talk to Zadu Hundoni Negiga, Ne Ayago de Rio. On a Zia Staga, they don't zone the Ketas.
Nagedum, the Waset Daneko. Kahoda? Quagum ha glory near Charles Lee. But Triot de Hona de Honzonia in Kia won't for. Dunno got easy, I say, and what is it? A toga tigarungwe. Horror zit is on Nigora denu. See a sudden in yonder the squat Nigora Gani. Nick the owner gone runet. See you go on who garden there. They got your scar, Gi. Go next, you got your scar, and see what Gonya has in a square at the new Stutzege. Then you start Nigora de Honto. Then what does want ducks at the Nezungwe that summa? Zadarissa. Unga Dorissa, no one as I hear you. Ya Tena, das ist ein Dansen. Sie geht doch jetzt da ne. Reden wir geht um Charles Lee, Mountmouth, was da der Hajib. Was da kann halt du mal sehen. Sie noch holt ein Patriot, wenn er den Juni. Jura Saga, was da kann nach sehte. Oh Doc, dann geh ich am Modellio. Rono Dio hat Quenio. Oh, na hodo desak ni gun hale radun hagedu. Kana dogu ramaheyu. Oh, na awo ne. Ya tak kweni kwa ori wiyo agiru. Tiyun kwa hu esela denyu ro di tala kwa nzi ene gono kwa di ya da hunada kwa. Jinuwa ya te dewa deliyo. Dogo ona ya ka hewe ya da yun kwa lihwa yanda se tona ya dewa yere. Ya. Dewe sek. I am Jumhuza Nega. Next, don't you got you wish? Oh, near the Oyuka garden yard there. Aguaya da nosta de. Quad de de ya, Taya de Wagani, Daya de Wadani, Dina Honda Dawe. Doga air on de we, de Nega on Jumhunjake. Ya Taya de Watka or Dini Guari Horda. Da Wariane de Wahawi Dini Juguenu. Ya ta undu. On it the other way there harder. Kakniqari was sego de wakato hunzoni. Teo de hunjo hunro na jage da ya guatara. Onwakto gase jina honda onwado na gayero.
push on for as long as it takes. If the enemy is allowed to push through, we will lose what precious little ground we have gained. The sacrifices your brothers have made today must not have been in vain. Now go! Bring the fight to our enemy! Make them rule the day they marched upon us! Connor, my friend. You have arrived just in time to bear witness to our glorious victory. Where is Charles Lee? That batar. He shows up in the middle of our preparations and just takes charge. Screams at everyone to advance and then rise away. I am left to pick up the pieces. Where did they come from? Send word that we are falling back! Everyone to me! Now! Now! I will hold the area while you bring them to safety. I grant you my finest soldiers to serve as your personal guard. There is nothing they will not do to ensure you are victorious. Bonne chance, mon ami. We'll push these red coats back yet! Are low on ammunition, sir, and the enemy advances. Then we need to pull back, rejoin the others, and cover their escape.
advancing and quickly! Do not worry about the red coat. Go join the others. Well done, my friend. You have saved many lives today. Connor? Charles Lee has betrayed you. He forced retreat in the midst of battle, hoping the lost would take the lives of your men and see you relieved of your command. What? I'm sure he will come and spin a tale saying that he was outnumbered or I was somehow to blame. All lies. I will say it one last time. That man is your enemy and he will not stop until you are dead or dishonored. Connor's tale rings true. Lee was acting most odd upon the battlefield. I will investigate these allegations at once. The time for that is long past. This must be done properly, else we're no better than those we oppose. Never mind the political ramifications of such an act. Should you choose to spare Lee's life, then I will take it myself. Enjoy your victory, Commander. It will be the last I deliver you. Something's happened, Desmond. Abstergo has your dad. Where? Italy. Same place they were holding you. What are you two waiting for? Let's go! There's more. Hello again, Mr. Miles. I hope this message finds you well, or as well as it can, all things considered. It appears we now each have something the other desires. I propose a trade. Bring me the apple, and I'll return your father to you no worse for the wear. Should you refuse, he will still be returned, albeit much worse for the wear. I assume you'd like to avoid an unpleasant outcome. I always knew it would come to this. Just not so soon. I wonder if Abstergo even knows what's about to happen. And has this been a part of their plan all along? Maybe they want the world to end. To see it all burned away. Then they'd have their new world. Ripe for the reshaping. We talked about looking for another power source. Leaving him there. It's probably what he'd want. For us to finish the mission. But I can't. It's hard enough taking a life, but letting one be taken? Knowing there was something I could do about it? Not a chance. Might be I'm risking my life, risking all our lives to save an asshole. But what else am I supposed to do? That asshole is my dad. father on the upper levels. Same place they kept you. There's an elevator bank down the hall. Try not to let them see you. They know I'm here, Rebecca. There's no way they don't. This? This was a bad idea. Hand over your weapons and come with me, sir. I can show myself in, but thanks for the offer. I'd rather this not turn ugly, Mr. Miles. Then let me through. Subdue the subject, please.
nothing since you left us. Walking into an elevator in the middle of a hostile environment. Really? Where's my father? <laughs> You'll see him soon enough. Now be a good boy and wait for security to fetch you. You're gonna have to climb the rest of the way. on him. He can't be far. Where the hell is he? Give me the apple. Let's not draw this out. You got nowhere to go, and I've got a gun. Speaking of which, it's the 21st century and you're still running around with only a tiny knife for protection? <laughs> it's stupid. All right, Desmond. Game's over. Not now. Not now. Inya is just a robot. Yet, get out! What the hell was that? What the hell is going on down there?
Where's Vidic? Fifth floor. Vidic's office is up ahead. So fast, Mr. Miles. In case you hadn't noticed, I'm the one calling the shots. Now give me the apple. You want it? Fine. Here it is. Wait! No! never should have come here. You put everything on the line. For what? So you could rescue your father? Yeah. 